This video will show you how to create a sample unit of measure for an inventory item. The example used will show how the unit of measure is used to receive the item as a case and then to stock and sell them as individual items. So first we'll go to the inventory module and create our item. Call this UOM case. We'll put in here 40 bottles of root beer as a description. We'll set the cost of each bottle as one dollar and the selling price of each bottle as one dollar and fifty cents. We'll save this. Go to the unit of measure tab here to, and click new here to create the unit of measure code. We'll call it case and for the description we'll put 40 bottles per case. And because it's 40 bottles per case, the quantity factor will be 40 and we will leave it 40 each per case. The other option is case per each, but we do not want this because what it will do, it will take the one case and divide it by 40 and that's what we don't want. So we'll leave it here 40 each per case or 40 bottles per case. And because we want this unit of measure to be the default buy, we will use this button. The first one here is the de default stock and the third one here is the default sell. But we want to set this as the default buy so we'll click here and it is set as the default buy. We'll quickly go over these options on the right here. The first one is the buy unit of measure. This is automatically grayed out because it is set as a default buy. Here you can s check this if you want to be able to sell the item on an order and in this case or in this example we do not want to do this so we'll uncheck it and say yes to continue and this option allow fractional quantities in orders. This allows you to divide the unit or the item and sell it and we do not want to do this so I will uncheck this and you can enter in here the UPC code location and or the weight. Now that we've finished creating this unit of measure code, we'll click save and we'll quickly go back to the details tab here and to confirm what we've done, you notice here the default stock is each, default sell is each, and a default buy is case. So we'll save the changes to this item and now we're ready to create a purchase order for this item. We'll select this item. Now you notice when we click here in the order quantity, it'll come up for this item. The case comes up by default because we did set it as the as the default buy for this uh, inventory item. And we'll order one case, and it, it is forty dollars because we set the cost of each bottle as one dollar. So we will now issue the purchase order. Answer yes. Now we will bring up this purchase order and receive on it. So we'll put here one. Now we'll we'll ignore the landed costs for this example. We'll post and close this purchase order. Now we'll exit the purchase order module and go back to the inventory module. Bring up our unit of measure item and you see here it has received we received the case and it has stocked it in each as what we had set it to do so now the available quantity for this inventory item is 40 now we will go into the order entry module to sell it Now when 
I click into the order quantity field, you'll notice here it comes up as each by default because it is set as the uh, default cell. And I'll put in here one quantity. The sell selling price is correct. It's a dollar and fifty cents plus tax equals one dollar and sixty. I will now save it and print and answer yes to apply to the customer's account for this example. Now we will exit the order entry module and go back to the inventory module. Enter in the item and you will notice here it has sold one so now the available quantity is down to 39 and we have successfully created this inventory item to be able to stock it and sell it as individual items and be able to buy it as a case. This concludes the video on creating a sample unit of measure for an inventory item.